Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and this is Pocket News for Thursday, the 5th of November. First up, and Blizzard are hiring engineers to give their back catalogue a facelift. Smashing! Listed on the company's website is a job description for senior software engineers. Those hired will be tasked with restoring StarCraft, Diablo 2 and Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos back to their former glory. This means optimizing them for current operating systems, as well as implementing new features and making their online system safe from hackers. Next up, and a report from the Pew Research Center in the United States is suggesting that more women own consoles than men. In a survey on the demographics of technology ownership, 42% of the women surveyed said they owned a console, compared to only 37% of the males surveyed. With regards to handheld devices, the report indicated that there was an even split. Extrapolating the findings, the survey concluded that 4 in 10 American households had at least one home console. And finally, Halo 5 Guardians has become the best-selling Halo game yet. Microsoft announced that the game has generated over 400 million US dollars during its first week, smashing Halo 4's meager 300 million. The figure includes sales of hardware such as the themed controller and console bundle. The Halo franchise now has a lifetime revenue of over 5 billion US dollars. So still not as valuable as Candy Crush Saga. And that's it for the news today, my pocketeers, but I would like to apologize for yesterday's failed stream. The network guards did not want me in your living rooms, but we still managed to give away a t-shirt. Sianimus Prime, you've got a brilliant mind. I hope you're in as good a shape as your Photoshop skills because the Pocketeers are coming for you, so you better start running. But they are a polite bunch, so I'm sure they'll wait until after this afternoon's episode of Pocket Prime, where through the magic of FMV, I get to hang out with some real-life douchebags in Need for Speed. Until then, Nick Boy out.